welcome to today's video. We are going to be going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Now this is going to be my first time going to the Halloween party. I've gone to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party before, but never the Halloween party. So I'm excited to check it out. Now the party runs from 7 p.m. until midnight, but your party ticket does allow you into the Magic Kingdom at 4 p.m. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be heading to Magic Kingdom for shortly before 4 p.m. so that we are ready when they start letting guests in and getting our party wristband. Now we are going to talk about some accessibility stuff as well. We are going to talk about the allergy friendly trick or treating as well as accessible parade viewing and fireworks viewing. And I am going to show those both in the daylight as well. So when you first come in, I'll send you down the right tunnel to get your treat bag after you've got your wristband, which I'll show you in a second. I'm just currently using it to drive. But it wasn't too long of a line once we got past the first crowd to get our wristbands. We're coming up to get our tree bags. So I've got a pretty Nikki's Not So Scary bracelet. I've also got my magic band. I've got my treat bag. And then they also give you an allergy friendly bag if you have allergies, which we'll go over in a bit. And then let's continue on in the crowd. So this is the same path you kind of go through if you've been to the Christmas party. And it looks like we get a starter treat up here of M&M's. Thank you. So just some information on the allergies. They will give you a separate treat bag. They will give you a regular treat bag too for a souvenir. But for the allergies, they will give you a treat bag and you will collect tokens instead of treats at the treat stations. And then at the end of the night, you will turn your tokens in and you will get treats, uh, candy, not really treats, I guess candy, that will meet your allergy needs. Um, so you'll get like all candy that, yeah, that will meet your allergy needs. So depending on what your allergies are, will depend on what kind of candy you get. So um, if you are allergic to milk, you will obviously get treats that do not have any dairy or chocolate or anything like that in them. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how the treat bags and the allergy stuff works like that. So I start you off with a bag of M&Ms as you collect your treat bag. And yeah, because the trick or treat stations aren't really open yet because the daytime guests are still inside. So trick or treat stations aren't open. I'm not sure if I still give you a bag of M&Ms if you come in later, like at party start time after the park is closed to regular daytime guests or not. Because, well, I came in earlier than that. I came in kind of at the very start just to see how busy it was. It was pretty busy with the park being at capacity. Um, yeah. So the Chamber of Commerce is the other location where you will take your allergy tokens and turn them in for candy. It's located next to City Hall at the front of the park near the entrance. So the Liberty Ticket Office or Liberty Square Ticket Office is the other place you can turn in your allergy tokens. And you can come back as often as you want to turn those in. And this is in Liberty Square next to the Hall of Presidents. And it doesn't really matter how many tokens you turn in, whether it's one, two, three, or 10, you kind of get the same amount of candy that matches your allergies. So you don't have to wait till the end of the night. I mean, you can if you want, but you can go back really as many times as you want. Okay, so we got the brownie that is at the snack cart near Haunted Mansion called the skull brownie so hopefully it's delicious okay 
So I'm gonna try the brownie now, see how it is. Sorry if I look like a drowned rat, it's raining a lot here. You can smell the spices. It's good though, it's, but yeah, you can definitely taste some sort of spices. It's good though. Do you like it? I kind of got kind of scared a little bit when I was told it had some spices in it. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about that in a brownie. But it's very good. Very delicious. So I'm kind of like wrapped up like a barbecue right now to stay dry. So I look like a drowned rat and I have very limited range of motion on my arms right here. But that was a good brownie. It definitely has some interesting like spicy, not like hot flavors, but definitely like unique flavors that you don't really expect when you get a brownie. So it can be a little surprising at first because it's not necessarily what you expect from a brownie when you take a bite of brownie. But it was good. And I'm not like a huge chocolate loving person. But it's not too chocolatey. It's good. I like it. But it's definitely rainy tonight. Okay, and now I've got a bite that has some different stuff in it. It's got some like icing type stuff. Also got a little bit less spicy. I'd say with a lot more icing, less brownie. I think. No, I'm not sure if it's less spicy or if I'm just more used to it with the second bite. That's good though. I like it. I like it. Definitely, definitely more unique. So if you're looking for a typical brownie, don't go into it thinking it's going to be a typical brownie because it is not. But it's very good. And that's something coming from somebody that does not love chocolatey things. I've got the River Sticks Elixir here that I'm going to try from my drink here. Hopefully it's delicious. It's definitely not sweet. It's kind of like, it's not really sour and it's not really bitter. I don't know. It's kind of a little mix of all of the above. I'm not really sure exactly what I'd call it. Like you can taste lemonade flavors. I'm not used to tasting like a kiwi drink on its own, so I'm not sure what kiwi drink tastes like without strawberry in it. So it's definitely interesting. It's good. It's not bad. Like it's good, but it's definitely interesting. My partner had the white pumpkin secret, the which is the Joffrey's event exclusive and they said that it was kind of a standard drink pumpkin yeah it wasn't anything special it wasn't anything that you should rush to so yeah it's kind of just okay nothing that like highly recommend going to the event for
So Mad Tea Party, Monster Inc, Flat Floor, and Space Mountain all have Halloween overlays for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So we're about to go on Space Mountain for a ride on that because that is one of my favorite rides. The regular princesses that are out during the day, a lot of them are not dressed up in any Halloween costumes, but some of the other characters are like Winnie the Pooh and friends are dressed up in costumes and some of the other ones are out as well. And then there's also a lot of special characters that are out that aren't typically out during the day. Like Jack and Sally are not typically out and like the seven dwarves are not typically out during the day as well. So yeah, there's just a lot of characters that aren't typically out or that you don't typically see out in the parks that are out during the party. For the characters that can use a DAS that don't normally have lightning name, like the seven dwarves and the, well, I guess, and Jack and Sally. So basically only those two, it does actually use your DAS return time. You do have to physically go to the location to get the DAS return time. You cannot do it in the app like you can everything else for the event, like the regular like main characters and the other rides. The special Halloween characters will have a sign like this, letting you know that it is a Halloween character greeting so that you know that it's not a typical character spot. There are tons of photo opportunities. Some are the same as during the day or a regular night and some are special for the event. Um, currently it's raining and as such and there's been a lot of thunder and lightning so a lot of rides are down and yeah so a lot of stuff like that is not happening so we'll see if that stops and we're able to do some of the photo opportunities as well as some of the shows parades and fireworks and stuff like that or if it's going to continue and stuff will be closed and shut down delayed and i will continue to look like i am a barbecue or inside a barbecue cover which is literally what I look like right now on my mobility device and I look like I'm a little barbecue inside a barbecue cover which is really a cute look so maybe that's my costume is I'm a barbecue inside a barbecue cover I don't know maybe it is that's what I'm going for so in order to ride Tron you will need a boarding group and the boarding groups do open at 6 p.m. for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween. If you are in an ECV you will need to transfer to a transfer chair for a line and whether you're in any sort of mobility device you will need to transfer to the ride vehicle. They do have a modified ride vehicle on the Tron trains although they only have one on certain trains and some trains don't have any so it sometimes can be a little bit of an extra weight if you wish to ride the modified car instead of the light cycle so it's just something to keep in mind when you are riding Tron. Our Tron time just called this is going to be my first time riding Tron and I'm literally so excited I've been waiting for Tron ever since I heard it was going to be coming to Magic Kingdom so I am legitimately so excited for this Super excited. Can't wait. Oh my god, first time seeing Tron fully set up and working. I am so excited. I've been waiting so long for this. It's absolutely beautiful. The canopy is gorgeous. I know this is a short ride and it's over quickly, but I could not be more excited for this ride. This was a priority for my night and I was terrified I would not get a boarding group. Oh, seeing the light cycles go by. I'm just so excited to get on one. Just so excited to set on a light cycle. This is like a dream.
getting close to my wedding. Hopefully it's good and lives up to my expectations. I know it's short, so that part I'm ready for, but hopefully everything else is good. I'm ready to ride a light cycle. And we're going to win. Just finished riding Tron. It was what I wanted it to be. Yes, it was short, but it was fast. It was fun. We got the orange canopy while we were riding, which is not something that happens super often. It's almost always blue. The orange happens only every so often. So having the orange, while I don't love orange, was unique and something special. So that was awesome. I loved it. I can't wait to ride again. I rode the light cycle. I was able to do that. It is a motion that I'm used to. I will try the traditional vehicle at some point. Um, obviously not today because I was only able to ride once today, but yeah, I loved it. We're headed over to hopefully watch the fireworks. Now the shows and parades normally have multiple times. The fireworks normally only have one time. So if you're looking for a lower crowd time for those, I recommend going to the later showing. Now this is based off of my experience at the Christmas parties. I haven't been to the Halloween party yet. So yeah, it's based off the Christmas party. Now it's supposed to be not great weather tonight, so we'll see how that turns out. Because of course these outdoor events are all um, weather dependent. So if the first show of the castle stage show is canceled and then the later shows might be a lot busier and same with the parade if the first boo to you parade is canceled then the second parade the later parade is going to be a lot busier but generally people with smaller kids will go to the earlier showings so the later months will be a lot less busy because this is a more family friendly event. So this is the daytime look of where the disability viewing is for the fireworks. So it's in this area here. So it's not a huge section, which is why it can sometimes fill up pretty quickly and why you can sometimes need to get here pretty early, especially for happily ever after. And you can see, like, depending on where you're seated, like, if you're right up here, you could have a slightly obstructive view of the castle. But a lot of the seats, or not seats, but, like, spots are fairly good views of the castle and the sky. This is the setup for the daytime parade, but it's the same section for the parade for Mickey's Not So Scary. Same location anyways. But this is where it is in relation to the castle and the hub. So it's right near the hub and center and they'll just put you in a spot so that you have a, what they say is a very, Good view of the parade. Again, it's not a huge section, so for the daytime parade, you probably want to get there a little bit early, but for the nighttime parades during 
the smaller capacity events. Probably don't need to get there as early. <laughs> There's also a couple of more intermittent shows that don't have set times on some of the other stages. There's the Cadaver Dance and a, another band that's on another stage. And then there's also a couple of dance parties geared more towards the smaller kids. There's like a Disney Junior Dance Party at Cosmic Rays. And then there is another like zombie themed zombies bash i think it's called um we didn't go to either of those two um and the other two were kind of more intermittent than usual because of the weather but those are also things that you can do we did end up getting to do some photo opportunities in the end it did end up being not rainy enough for that so we grabbed some really fun ones on main street there's some photo pass people that have quite a few magic shots at like the same place so you don't have to go to a bunch of different photo pass photographers to get each one you can get it was like five or six magic shots at the same photographer so that was kind of nice to not have to stand in five or six different photo lines to get pictures taken the map that they give you is actually pretty helpful with showing you what the 
event has to offer with the like event times or like I guess more like the entertainment times for like the parades and the shows and where everything is. Now the only thing that I wish it actually had was which characters were at the character greeting location because it has like the symbols for it like that there's a character at the location but it doesn't tell you what character is going to be there so yeah that's like what i wish the map actually had so like it doesn't tell you where the seven dwarves are meeting or where jack and sally are now the seven dwarves are back in storybook circus and jack and sally are up where mickey normally is in town square but like the map doesn't say that it just has like character location then i also have my allergy friendly treat bag which kind of got squished as well as being in my bag um which i turned in tokens a couple times and also ate a bunch of it already throughout the night and on the way back to the hotel because it was mostly my food for the evening along with the brownie. Um, let's see what I have. So they had a lot of Yum Earth products. So have the gummy bears, the lollies, the organic fruit snacks, and then they had a lot of different flavors kind of same things and then they also had brothers um then they also had some other things that are different allergies but these were the things from the allergy friendly stuff that i could have there was also stuff from the regular trick-or-treating that i could have which i'll show you my regular trick-or-treating bag as well because I did get a couple scoops from that as well. We did go through some of the regular trick-or-treating and I got some scoops when we went through there too. There's my regular bag. So I don't have as much of this. And we went through a little bit but I have just a little bit of everything. So they have Skittles, Starburst, other Skittles, and they have some different chocolate. Um, and then I think I ate these other ones. They had these Skittle gummies that were really good. And that's probably why they're all gone, because I probably ate them all. They have, yeah, so these are kind of a little variety of what they have in their regular candy. Overall, I had a great time at the event. I just would have loved to have better weather and more time to experience more of the event. I thought the allergy friendly trick or treating was a great accessibility option. I love that I was able to ride Tron for the first time and that they had modified seating that allows more people to be able to enjoy the attraction. It would be great if they did have more modified seats on the ride trains so that there is not a longer wait for them. As I know that sometimes there is a longer wait and it would be nice if there was not, but it is nice that there is that option at all. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!